question is why would you charge a carbon tax on something that is not even proven to be factual and taking money away out of our pockets for Canada? Thank you. Thank you for your question, sir. Okay. So the question is why are we putting a price on pollution? Um, let's start. Let's start with uh, the fact that climate change is real and it is a challenge. A few years ago, the floods in Saskatchewan cost $600 million to Saskatchewan's economy. Every year we're seeing increases in droughts, in floods, in wildfires in BC and Fort McMurray. We're seeing more extreme weather events from twisters uh, to hurricanes down on the southern coasts uh, of the United States. We are seeing an increased cost with the increase of extreme weather events. That is the cost, that is what is happening because of climate change. We know it is going to get worse. And we are right now in a situation where we are perhaps the first generation that knows how to solve this problem but also the last generation that is actually going to be able to do anything to solve this problem and uh, save uh, the, the ecosystems and the planet that we have. That is the issue we have. So, we can, most of us agree, we need to fight, uh, fight climate change and we need to do it in a way that is going to protect our lives. Sorry, sir, I listen, sorry, sir, I listen to you. China has a carbon tax, okay? China has a carbon tax. China, Ch sorry, sorry. Uh, they're not doing it the way, so you think we should do things the way China does things? I know that's not what you're saying, sir. Uh, sorry. What we need to do is look at a way that Canada can do uh, what it needs to do to fight climate change and grow our economy and support regular people while we are making that change. That is the imperative we have. Now, at the very basic level, there is, as we've heard here, a disagreement on whether or not we have to act to fight climate change. I think we do. I know many Canadians think we do. There are some people, including the Conservative Party of Canada, that does not think we need to fight climate change. They have no plan to do that. They are not putting forward a plan to do that. That is something I think Canadians uh, should be thoughtful about when we make a decision next fall about who we're going to vote for in the next election. But I am unequivocal, and it's a differentiation point if you like, I think we need to absolutely fight climate change and I think we need to do it in a way that supports regular people through this change. That's why what we are moving forward with by putting a price on pollution, because very simply, and, and, and you're wondering how it works, we have carbon pollution in our atmosphere because it has been free for polluters to emit carbon pollution into our atmosphere for a long time. There is no cost associated with polluting the atmosphere. If you put a price on pollution, people then find it worth their while as large emitters, as polluters, to look for ways to reduce the price they have to pay for polluting the atmosphere. So by putting a price on pollution, we incentivize people to pollute less. It's basic economics. You want less of something, put a price on it. We want less pollution. We need less pollution, so we'll put a price on it. However, and I, I, I understand your concern on this. I understand people's concern about affordability. They're worried that this means higher costs for them. Well, I can tell you that in Saskatchewan, the price we are putting on pollution will leave the average family $200, better, $200 better off in the first year. Over the course of the next years 
of impl until full implementation, it gets up to $1,300 better off for the average Saskatchewan family while we put a price on pollution. And if you live outside of Regina or Saskatoon, like in Esteban, you actually get a 10% top up to that because we recognize the extra costs borne by rural, uh, by, by rural uh, communities across this country. On top of that, farm diesel and farm gasoline is not subject to the price on pollution. We are working to make sure that as we move towards a, uh, an economy and a world with less pollution, we support regular people through that change. 